Happy July 4th, everybody. I used to live in Washington State, and uh, on July 4th weekend, I usually go camping when I study at the uh, University of Washington. And uh, I may encounter a special uh, endangered species called spotted owls. Today, I'm going to show you how to do spotted owls in traditional Chinese painting style. So basically, I'm using different uh, tones of ink, like gray, now to draw the feather, one by one. This is very traditional. And you may notice the brush head is uh, um, not pointed. In this case, this is what I need to draw the feather. And this is, by the way, the water brush, the wolf hair water brush, natural hair. Uh, I got a reservoir in the handle, but I usually um, use that part only when I draw uh, plant air or outdoors. But uh, this brush bring me back to the wild. I can't even use this brush to draw at home. Also, it's very useful that if you use a space, uh, like a draw in front of a computer, you don't have to use uh, uh, water. You know, you can use the water in the brush on the computer table or something. You know, narrow space. Now I use a darker shade to add one more layer. Use water to dilute it. Some dark spots. The very loose brush strokes. And then I change the brush to wash with color. Okay, I use a little yellow. It's a little bit red too. Show the eyes. And then uh, brown color. Dilute it.
with the water. You when you wash, you still keep the sense of calligraphic strokes. This uh, brush is called a combination brush, made of uh, goat hair and wolf hair in the middle. The combination of both stiff and uh, stiff and soft, so it gives you diverse form. Now the liner brush I use is the st uh, stiff synthetic hair. This one is good to draw lines, like the claws, claw, nail. Use a little light uh, blue color. It's a mineral blue. Mineral color is opaque. You can cover the ink. Okay, now I go back to the wolf hair brush to draw the trunk of the tree. Let's do a willow tree. So use kind of dark gray. Touch a little ink to the front. Yeah. You see the um, effect or we call the flying white. This, can, this is flying white. We draw with the brush head uh, parted or uh, with a dry, you know, especially with dry stroke. A, uh, it's it's a wanted effect. It's not a problem, you know, with the brush. And with the synthetic, with plastic hair, it's hard to get this kind of effect. This only can be achieved by a natural hair brush. So we just use leaf uh, dark darker gray to paint the leaves on the willow. Uh, this might remind you the technique we used to do the bamboo leaves. If you know how to do bamboo, you can do willow very easily. to the picture, I just sign here. Put my name chart.